All right, welcome to my MTG Arena call time premiere draft video. We're gonna look at um some draft picks. All right, let me change the view. All right, Jorn, Savella. Which is better? Is Jorn better than Savella? I actually have no idea if Jorn's better than Savella. Someone will have to tell me. I think Savella is like much much more powerful if you can cast it right. But if I pass the Jorn, I'm never going to get any more green. Is kind of the issue, right? Is the problem, right? I do feel like Jorn could be really powerful. It's also just a single color, which is kind of a reason maybe to like take the Jorn here, right? I also don't get to play Jorn very much. Let's take the Jorn. Alright, we'll take the Jorn. Doomscar Titan, Vengeful Reaper, Mass Vandal, hmm. No. I'm kind of thinking maybe the Vengeful Reaper, because it's really good. Right? Eventual Reaper, maybe? I don't know. I usually have, like, a lot of better ideas about what's going on, but you never really know what's happening and stuff. Hard to say. Take all the Snowlands. I don't think I want to take Mountain that early, just to make it work. I think I just take, like, the Eventual Reaper. It's really good. Struggle for Skemfar, Snowland. Um, I think mostly when you play Jorn, you actually want like the Cauldron Rhyme Staff part, right? You can play it as a green card, like it works as a green card, right? I mean, it's basically just a three-three Vigilance for three by itself, right? If you don't have anything else, it's just pretty insane to be at, like Snow Permanence, which makes me want to think about taking like Sulfurous Mire. And stuff also, right? Like make it to make it work. Mm. That's really interesting. You always advocate for greed. Yeah, no, that's understandable. I'll take the struggle for Skimfar. Not Volt Slumber Mound is probably the best card. Um, rest of this pack is pretty bad though. I think I just take the Novel Summer Mound, so this should have been like a Doomscar Titan then. Because like Doomscar Titans are really good, but I don't know. I was just thinking I want to do something a little different, which is like green black, I guess, right? I could see maybe taking like Death Knell Berserker and stuff. Like maybe I should be more open to playing green black, right? Because like green black could be really good too at some points, at some point in time. I think Bind is okay. Yeah, it's it's only okay. I feel like I want to get this really late if possible. Right? I just want to take... I don't know. Volatile Fjord, Inga Runeis, Bergstrider. Hmm. I think green might be getting cut is the problem. I think I might want to take like the Inga Runeyes or the Berg Strider. Am I winning? Hey the Brindlebore. Uh we had we just did a box opening and it went well and now I'm in a draft and it's kinda of weird. The draft is kinda of weird because I'm not really sure what to do. But that's okay. It it'll be fun regardless because we're like learning stuff. Right? Let's just take the Bergstrider. It's a snow permanent if we play the other side of Jorn, Pilfering Hawk, Immersturm Raider, Axe Guard Cavalry. This is a snow land, 
if we're playing like the blue black version of uh, Yorn, right? Or you could take the Pilfering Hawk, but I don't have any snow land yet. I think I actually like taking the Snowfield Sinkhole here. Oh, yeah, no, I, I, I kind of get that. I, I guess what I mean, like, cut, I mean, like, are there really amazing green cards I want to take? And if they just look kind of bad, then not really, because, like, I, I guess that's that's a good point. Like, I shouldn't say, like, a color's cut just because it um looks like there aren't cards I want to play in it. Hey, thanks for the raid, air bubble spam foxes. Fox spam. Hope you're sleeping well, by the way. How, how did the box break go? Oh my god, that was the wrong spelling. I can spell it. That's cool. That's that's cool that you got invited. I think, I think I'm actually supposed to be drafting red-green. Hey there, S S2000 again. How's it going? I think I'm actually supposed to be drafting... Oh, that sounds really cool. I think I'm supposed to be drafting red-green. Sorry about this is all kind of all over the place. What is happening here with this draft? As glittering frost makes a snow permanent. Hey there, Angela Sascaro, how's it going? I thought it was gonna go blue black for Yorn, but I think it's supposed to be going red green. Jundia, I don't know. I'll take the glittering frost because this does make a snow permanent for uh, Jorn. It makes it makes it it makes one of my lands into a snow land. Five color greed is never cut, you know. Turgid Shadow's like okay. There's also like, I guess, this stuff. This is blue. Oh, I just have no idea what's happening. I guess I take the Turgid Shadow. I mean, I guess if that's Slumber Mound wheels, then I know I need to be in red-green, but... These signals just haven't been super clear. Like, if I want to go blue-black, red-green, red-black, green-black, I don't know exactly. Yeah, I just did a box opening a Time Spiral Remaster, and now I'm doing a draft. It's, uh... You know, it's fun. Oh, I got a, um, let me, like, look again. Hmm. So that came back, but it kind of looks like white might be open. There's a mountain. There's also a Draugr recruiter. I think I just take this mountain. This is really weird. Um, I got a foil Eternal Witness, a foil Palace Jailer, a regular Gemstone Cavern, a regular Damnation, and a regular Thoughtseize. How did how did your box break go? Because that looked really cool that you're doing that. I guess Raven Wings is like the most playable card here. Grim Draugr. Things are starting to look grim right now. Inga Runeye. Maybe Blue Black is actually open because this wheel went all the way around. We can play the um We can just play Jorn as a blue black card. But we need to get like a lot of snow lands next pack to make this work. Right, it was a lot of fun. Nice. You for, you remember the damnation and forget the right Yeah, no, I'm I'm kinda like that too. I have to take a picture. I had to take a picture, otherwise I'm going to forget what happened. Boreal Outrider is a snow card. Magda's really good if red's open. Snow covered forest is like okay. I feel like our mana base is going to be really bad. I guess we have a Glittering Frost to like help fix the mana base. Maybe just take the Boreal Outrider. Maybe we have a green black snow and just splash blue for like the staff part of this, maybe? That could work. 
I haven't actually had Boreal Outrider be insanely good in my in the past, but we can try it. This is not the card I want to play. Avalanche Caller is the card I want to play, though. There's also an Ice Tunnel. I think we're just doing, like, three-colored snow garbage. Yeah, I don't think I really want to play Ascend Sphere. I do want this Avalanche Caller. I, it's too bad it's in the same pack as this Ice Tunnel, because I really want the Ice Tunnel also. But that's okay. It it seems a little strange that I took Death Knell Berserker over um Grim whatever the uh the Not Volt Slumber Mound because I think Not Volt Slumber Mound pretty good, but I know uh Semulin has been really talking up um Death Knell Berserker like he thinks it's one of the best black commons. Blessing of Frost or Narfi. I feel like if we're going to go super heavy on snow, we actually want the Narfi and not this card, right? I know that the um the Blessing of Frost has Jorn on it, but I, I think Narfi is actually much, much better in the, the deck that we're making. We might actually just be straight up blue-black, I don't know. I'm going to take the Narfi. I really need to see, like, some clear signals on what's going on. I think this is an easy swamp here. And maybe we wheel the Portacart Fell. Some of the snow payoffs, like Grim Draugr and another Avalanche Caller. That's pretty insane. Let's take another Avalanche Caller. Tricks of God Heist is nice, but I need the Chasm to make this deck work. I would also love to play an Elder Fang Disciple because it's something you can, like, Sack or whatever. It's just also just a nice value creature, but like the chasm here. A card draw spell would be nice for like the glittering frost. Yeah, I'm, I'm glad to hear that you got invited to that event and, it, and that it was fun. Thinking what I want to do with this draft. There's a second Glittering Frost, and there's also an Ice Hide Troll, but... I don't know the mana is going to be good enough to play Ice Hide Troll. Maybe it is. This is a mountain. It's like the wrong color. This is like the wrong color. Island is great. I'll take it here. This is gonna be like that deck people warned you like not to play uh the um three color three color smorgasbord deck that, where everything is kind of all random and stuff. Raise the Draugrs. That also shouldn't go all the way around the Fursia because that card's really good. I mean, I could maybe splash it off of um the um stuff I have. We do have a lot of wizards. I'm gonna take this because we have a lot of wizards for the raise the Draugr. Or we have five wizards explicitly. Because but Narfi's a wizard. Um, this is actually playable in our deck. We have enough. We have like some number of swamps and stuff, or snowlands. I mean, we're like splashing for fixing. Apparently, it's funny. I'd like to, like, not be flashing for fixing, but we'll see how this turns out. This is a zombie. I'll take it. Mm. 
with um Narfi Betrayer King, zombies golden value. So we're actually interested in zombie. Blue's kind of splash, yeah. That's true. We could just be splat splashing for Avalanche Caller, I guess. Yeah, you don't really want to cast this on turn two, right? It's just going to get destroyed. Like, just going to kill it if you play it on turn two. You actually want to play this. I mean, you can play this on turn two and just start activating lands and, like, s sinking in, like, three mana a turn to deal four to your opponent, which also works. I've definitely seen people do that effectively. It'd be nice if I got like an ice vine pillar or something, and like one more snow land would be decent. This is just a garbage two drop that turns into a zombie. I guess it, yeah, it turns into a zombie if we get like an equipment. Yeah, I don't really want to play Wither Crown, but yeah, maybe. This, if we're playing an Infernal Pet, something went wrong with the draft. Because I think the deck you really want to play Infernal Pet is in the one that has like a bunch of like one drops in it and stuff. Wrong land, sadly. I could take another Turgid Shadow. I could take another Ice Hide Troll. Maybe just a second Ice Hide Troll. I'm actually found this card to be a little bit awkward to play. I think I'm just gonna take another Ice High Troll here. Yuck. Linda. Yuck. Yeah, Battle of Frostifier, Maja, Bredegard, Protector. Behold the Multiverse wouldn't be bad, or a Linda. Maybe just Linda. Have like a win condition. We can cut like the Inga and like I don't know. I really want this Behold the Multiverse so I can have like more consistently fine things, I guess. Hey, hey there, AB Dummy, how's it going? I'm gonna take the Behold the Multiverse. Another Ice Hide Troll or a Floodplain. I think I just need to take the floodplain to have more snow lands available, even though this is like a one color tap land. That was a really good pack though, the one that had the um Hope you're doing well, AV Dummy. That was a really good pack, the one that had the Battle of Frostifier and the um and the Maja in it. Maja is double white, unfortunately, so I can't play that. That's true, it's not a time land of Jordan. That, ooh, Ice Tunnel. Yes, please. I could be really greedy and try to fit that into this deck, but I don't really want to try that. I need this Ice Tunnel. The Secret Tunnel, yeah. I wouldn't mind like a gold vein pick for the death knell berserkers so that they can turn into zombies. So they can get buffed by Narfi Betrayer King. But it's not like critically important. I mean, I guess technically we could go Boreal Outrider, cast a death knell berserker with like snow mana so that it becomes a 3 3, but that's probably more of like a pipe dream than anything, right? Because Boreal Outrider usually doesn't live. Ooh, I really want to take that Mistwalker. I also want the snow covered island. Mistwalker or snow covered island? Mistwalker is also a zombie. By the way, so we have one, two, three, four, five, six lands. This also buys a lot of time if we play it. The Mistwalker.
Snow-covered forest is great here. They don't really want any of this. Elder Fang, Disciple, Frost Peak Yeti, or a Counter Spell. I don't know if I need a Frost Peak Yeti just to win games, but what does my early game look like? I might take the Yeti just because it's a snow creature. Things are looking grim. Trickster God's Heist? Or Zombie? I'll take the Trickster God's Heist. Because I could give them something bad, I guess. I don't know if I have anything that's really, really bad to give away, but... Maybe we'll find something... No, the Target Shadow came all the way around. I guess we can play the second one. Over like a Mist of Lichara. I think the downside of this deck is just not having a lot of removal. This is kind of unfortunate. That came all the way around, which is actually kind of insane. Like, do I main deck Broken Wings because I don't have a lot of interaction? Maybe, I don't know. Yeah, this is a zombie. This is also a zombie. This is also a zombie. Hmm. Sure. I wonder if this, be this deck is just better as straight blue black, actually. And just splash for, um. This is like the devil's mana base if we play the forests and stuff. I actually think like pure blue black might just be better and we can play like um I don't know, is it possible to play pure blue black? Yeah, I think this is actually better. We're a little lacking on removal, which sucks, but the slot looks really big. Yeah, that makes sense, Brindlebore. Do we have, like, a lot of free green sources? Like, we have one... Not really. We don't really have free green sources. Because we have, like, one chasm and stuff, and no, like, falls or anything like that. Like, if I ship it like this, is that just better? Maybe it is, actually. Because then we're just not, like, tripping up on the mana base constantly. I'll, I'll still play the Chasm as, like, a, um, as a snow land. Right? Wow, uh, this, look at this curve, though. It looks really clunky at the top. Right? This is a... that's not a snow permanent. We need to put in two lands. So like, an island and a swamp and we're kind of good to go. I'll do a course I draft after this, because I know people were, were interested in it. Yeah, look at this curve. This is an amazing curve. An amazing, when I say amazing curve, it looks uh, pretty bad, but it's okay. This is this is what we have. Can trade them like this crappy 2 2. 
for uh, their good creature. That's the plan. Anyway, thanks everyone who came by to watch uh, this draft video. If you like what you saw, you can check out the gameplay at twitch.tv slash Blue. But anyways, I will catch you in the next video. Alright, have a good night.